Good afternoon, Mary B. Austin. This is Miss Trotter, for those of you that do not know me, and I teach social studies and science to first grade. And this is a little bit out of my comfort zone, um, but I wanted to welcome you all to my home and let you know that you may hear some background noise because my first graders know, because I talk about them all the time. I have three dogs and I have three kids, and Macy is 13, and she's too cool to be out of her room right now, so she's having some teenager time, and Maverick is four, and he's all over the place. McKinsley is seven, and she's currently being quiet right now, so we'll see how long that lasts. And then my dogs, Bama, Buggy, and Boston are running around here, so um, Boston and Bama can get loud because they're big boxers, so hopefully they will stay quiet long enough for me to read this book to you all. I um, wanted to read a book because I miss reading, and I miss playing the read-alouds to my first graders and just interacting with them. And we feel like this is a way to um, interact and communicate with you all because we haven't been able to see each other. So I hope that you enjoy this book. I chose Pete the Cat and the Lost Tooth, written by James Dean. I chose this book because I love Pete the Cat and my students seem to really enjoy Pete the Cat as well as my own personal children. And right now, our first graders are losing lots of their teeth, and I just thought it would be a fun book. So, Pete the Cat and the Lost Tooth by James Dean. Pete lost a tooth. Put it under your pillow, his mom says. The tooth fairy will come. Pete puts the tooth under his pillow. He closes his eyes. He hears a jingle. It is the tooth fairy. I am very busy tonight, she says. I can help, says Pete. Great, she gives Pete magic wings. He can fly. Think about it, how would you feel if you could fly? Wouldn't that be cool? Visit these cool kids, says the Tooth Fairy. Callie, Alligator, and Gus are on the list. Just take the tooth and leave a coin, she says. Pete is ready to go. She, or he, is out. Um, he gets to help the Tooth Fairy. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's a pretty cool job. Callie is first on the list. There is Callie's lost tooth. He gets so excited. Her tooth is right under the pillow. Pete takes the tooth. He leaves a coin for Callie. Alligator is next on the list. Uh oh, Boston's getting in the window, so you may hear him. You see him? There he is. Look, Alligator's lost tooth. Careful, it is very sharp. Pete takes the tooth. He leaves a coin for Alligator. Gus, the platypus, is next on the list. Uh-oh, what do you think happened? Look at this picture and think about what you think's going on. Where is the tooth? The tooth is not here. The tooth is not there. The tooth is not anywhere. Do you see it? No. Where is Gus's lost tooth? The lost tooth is lost. Does Pete panic? Nope, he knows what to do. Sorry guys, I keep covering my face. I'm not used to this. Look, Gus is awake. Where is your tooth, Gus? Pete asks. Platypuses do not have teeth, says Gus. So what do you think the Tooth Fairy is going to do? He can put the necklace under the pillow. Oh. But I still want to be a part of the Tooth Fairy fun. No worry, says Pete. Pete puts a coin under Gus's pillow. Um. Thank you, Gus says. You're welcome, says Pete. Good night, Gus. Great work, Pete, says the Tooth Fairy. No problem, says Pete. He was glad to help. Not everyone is the same, but being kind is always cool. 
And that's right, being kind is always cool. What does Miss Wiggum tell us every morning or most every morning on the announcements? In a world where you can be anything, be kind. That's right, be kind. So it's very important that during this time we be kind to one another, that we show each other love, that we are patient with each other, and that we um, just learn that sometimes things aren't the way that we want them to be or expect them to be, but it's all going to work out and we're gonna be okay. So let's just take it one day at a time and know that I love you all and I'm praying for you and your families and I hope to see you all soon. Take care, bye.